All right, then. Time for us to go to the dungeon, finally. Oh, I miss these. Some honored sellers just feel the need to not have legitimate dungeons at all. Welcome to Tail Cave. Well, here's all join my time in here. Screw you, jerks. They brought those things back, too. You know, plus we got a pit. Which works for me. There we go. You got a small key. It can open a locked door. I bet it can. What else would it be good for? Um, excuse me, torches. Can you not try to hit me with fireballs while I kill enemies? That's very rude of you. Thanks. Hey, well, I got the compass. Wow, now you can see where the chest and nightmare are hidden. Nightmare? Oh, right, the boss. This compass is a new feature. A toad will tell you a key is nearby. Oh, right. I think that's how they added this version, I guess. Because I don't think I remember that in the, uh, in the original Blake's Awakening. That would be wild. Speaking of which, welcome back, everybody. It's Bryce Play Legend of Zelda. Blake's Awakening. This is your host, the MJ 406. And, well, oh, there are switches as well to get me other things. Neat. But, yep, we are finally in our, uh, first dungeon. Where we're getting a bunch of small keys. I can open a locked door. I did not know that. I did not expect to be able to open a locked door. What kind of idiot you take me for, bro? Watch out with a cracked floor, of course. But yep. Ah, uh, this is all a gameplay I know and love. Go through dungeons, try to get keys and stuff. Oh, God! Get that thing away from me. Oh, I don't like that thing at all. Peace! That's something I miss. Having traditional dungeons. There's something so simple and... It just feels right, you know? Having to explore dungeons and actually be able to get keys to progress to new areas, which... Well, may as well give my opinion on friggin' Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, since I haven't yet for this channel, because, uh, well... Well, I took the time to actually get everything I wanted to do, which isn't everything, but... Oh, at last, we got a map! Press bias to look at it! There we go, we got a map and a compass, and I can see where everything is. Oh! What's the up symbol here? Oh, right, I think I know what it means. It's a one-way door! So you put your body in there. Weird, but okay, I guess that's just how it works. Got it. Now, oh. Right, that indicates there's a key. It's just sitting in here? Okay, I'll take it. But yeah, Breath of the Wild Tears of the Kingdom, look. I know a lot of people really like those games. And honestly, I'll admit... When they first did ah, Breath of the Wild, I was happy to see like an actual change of pace for the Zelda series by trying to go like open world. This does make sense for a series like this being about exploration and stuff and a big journey being open world and such. And the freedom they give you, wow, joy, 20 rupees. The freedom they give you is definitely something very refreshing that allows you to basically go through the quest however you want it, which is pretty cool. At the same time, though. Oh, I could have pushed that up. Yeah, well, I'll remember that for next time. Hmm. I wonder. Never mind. I see an owl there, but I don't think I can do anything with it, so I'm just gonna. I'm gonna leave. If you don't mind. Oh, right. You can slam that way, too. I forgot about that. <laughs> Jerk. Yeah, there's also a wall I can't break through. That's kind of annoying. I can dig in a cave? What the hell's the point of that? But, yeah, I just, despite how open and fun, like, the exploration can be, for some reason it feels like everything else that makes a Zelda game feels like a Zelda game took a back seat in Breath of the Wild Tears of the Kingdom. It felt like they focused way too much on their physics engine, their physics puzzles, like, don't get me wrong, that stuff is cool, it can be fun, but, I don't know. Like, if everything in the game is just based off one fucking mechanic, it just gets old. Like, I don't know. I personally don't find it very fun, honestly. Try to basically... Ooh, money! And a thing! I guess I'll take that too while I'm at it. Yeah, basically all on just one mechanic is just getting kind of old, especially when the game's so big and they all go over the same thing! Oh, you found a stone beak! Now to find an owl statue to fit it into. Oh, that's you need. Turn aside the spider to the shield. Right. You need the beak to get hints from those things. That's how that works. Turn over the spine was the shield, you say. 
I mean, okay. I guess I'll do that. Why the hell not? What else would I be doing, I suppose? There's a treasure chest in there behind a cracked wall. I have to wonder what's inside. I really want to get in there, but I don't see anything I can blow up that wall. Not like I have anything that can blow up that wall, so it's kind of useless to me. Well, now I have this. I guess I can actually go over and probably talk to that owl. Might tell her to get through that door or something. But yeah, the shrines are kind of cool, but... Well, the fact that we don't have any legitimate dungeons... I know they technically have dungeons, but it's, it's not really like anything like great, you ask me. There's a door you can't open. You must square walk. Like that, you mean? Wow. Thank you, Mr. Owl. Why don't you be helpful? Oh god, spineys! Great, they do have spineys. That's fun. Appreciate that. Ooh! Stairs! I'll take some defense while I'm at it if you don't mind. Doors on the spine with the shield. Wow, you literally said the same thing another one did. That's great. Oh right, I forgot this game has a uh, weird cootie platforming segments. So yeah, this is weird too. Blake's Awakening and the Oracle games have these weird, like, 2D platforming, like, areas. It just feels weird, but... Eh. Like, ah! I guess it works. That's what it's supposed to be. Woo! what I get? You got the Rock's Feather! Feels like your body's a lot lighter. Ah, I see. Well? Now the power to jump! Woo! Is all the let you jump legitimately? How nice. Also, I just realized these are fucking Goombas. Well, what other way do I handle them than fucking stomping them? Slashing them is another feel right. You gotta actually stomp on them. That's the correct way to do things. Well, whatever. I'll leave it alone. Well, now I can jump. I can probably get over gaps. Like that. So then we got a platforming tool. But it's kind of weird this game actually gave you a jumping mechanic. It just it feels weird having a Zelda game actually do this, but... Well, I guess I guess it works out in context. I mean, it's better than having to use like only a hook shot or something. All right, I'll probably be that later. But yeah, I hate I hate the quote unquote dungeons we had in the um. Ow, do you mind? I hated the dungeons we were given in um. Uh, you know, Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, right, I need this too! You got the Nightmare Key! Now you can open the door to the Nightmare's Lair! Right. I forgot. It's like the... It's like the big key. You need this to get to the boss room. Because, of course... That was from, like, to the past, right? They had a key to help you get to the boss room, right? Pretty sure they did, yeah. But... Yeah, I just didn't like the dungeons, like... Oh, Breath of the Wilds were awful. You see how it's divided? These are these four mythical animals. Oh, cool, you can climb on them. Hey, guess what? Their dungeons are literally the same fucking thing. Where all you do is just tilt the thing to activate five, like, terminals or whatever the fuck they were. It's been so long since I played it, because that game annoys me, so I don't like to think about it. All right, should have figured many bosses. What the hell is this thing, anyway? Wanna go, bro? Ow! Could you stop hopping at me, bro? That's right. You're scared of me when I actually come at you like that. You don't know what to do, so you just fear for your life. Oh! Right. Before I forget. Get over here. Damn right! I got a fairy! You got a fairy in a bottle! Set it free anytime you want to get healed. Hmm. Wait a minute. Does that mean I can't use it as a, uh, revival or something? If not, that's kind of annoying. And what they want to be the mini boss, you have a portal to get you back to where the mini boss was and back to the beginning. A good checkpoint, which is always appreciated. So remember what that one kid said when you save in a dungeon, you start back at the beginning. That portal can be helpful so you don't have to go through all that junk in the dungeon again. Well, if you don't mind me, I'm going to check out what's down here before I finish off this dungeon. Nothing but dead bodies lying around. Looks neat, I guess. Yeah, nothing unpleasant about this at all. Nothing at all. I'll just leave it alone then. At least I got a heal out of it. Yeah, those divide beasts Breath of the Wild were terrible. Tears of the Kingdom did a little better, but not much. 
an actual dungeon, but it's still the same concept. Get to five places to activate things so you can basically get to the dungeon boss. At least the boss in Tears of the Kingdom were more creative. Like, they actually were, like, decently well thought out bosses. Buzz, buzz, outsider. Okay. I guess I would be. Voldorm. Oh, where are you at, one Voldorm? Oh, God, what other Voldorm would it be? Son of a bitch. No! Well, at least I'll have to start the boss fight over if you knock me down a pit. Now just take damage. Ow! Shield can only help you so much. Oh, nice thing to know, your spin attack does twice as much damage, I think. That is useful to know, actually. There we go. You need to get knocked out of the pit, you only lose health. Instead of freaking having to start the whole boss fight over. Well, that's one improvement from Link to the Past, I guess. And for being a boss, you get a heart container. Your maximum number of hearts increased. And your health has been refilled, too. So nice to refill my health as well. I definitely like that. Well, oh, that's the... Oh, I can't leave, damn it! I have to go forward. That's so... No! Don't trap me in here! Is that a cello? Oh, shit, I'm afraid of cellos! Just grab the fucking thing. Hang on. Is that useful in here? <laughs> Yo. If they hit a seashell in here, that would be fucking horrible. No. Just grab the fucking cello and get out of here already! You have a full moon cello! Oh. Right. Yep. I do see this circle. Looks like a full moon, I guess. I feel like the wrong spot, though. Wait a minute. Is that the song that Marriage sings? Oh, great. That means there's a strong connection between them. Oh, God! The, the, the musical instrument's so beautiful, it's blinding! Ah! Swamp! Okay, now I'm being yelled at to go swamp. A path opens in the blooms. I can't see! Is the instrument talking to me? Help! Oh god, I thought it was an instrument of torture. I didn't realize it'd be personal torture. Oh, okay, I guess we're good. Well, now I have a jumping power. I guess I can make use of this thing somehow. Get around over holes and stuff. How time you got finished that dungeon? Dude, how fast are you expect to get through this? Hoot! That is the instrument of the sirens. I have to admit, at first I did not believe you were real. The instrument, along with the seven others of the set, has about to wake the windfish. You must collect them all. I was talking to give you directions. Your next goal is north, think a Ponger Swamp. Who did D? You think I'm the fake around here? Wait, what? What do you mean he didn't think I was real? Bro, what do you mean? Then again, I am in a Mario world, I guess. With a bunch of Mario creatures and supposedly Kirby ones. Am I real? Oh my god, I might not be real. Well, as you know, I've been a VTuber this whole time. But I'm not giving myself a face. You don't want to see it. That's how horrifying it is. A VTuber without a face just doesn't sound real at all. It sounds stupid. There's no point. Oh yeah, you can't hop up gaps in this thing, which is kind of dumb. So yeah. Well, it'd be useful. No, you don't get that usefulness. Screw you. Oh, is that actually be fun? Oh, kids, what happened? Hey, buddy, it's serious. Yeah, I'm really serious. Oh my god, they're yelling so loud. They're shaking the world with their speech. Good lord. Yeah, it is. The moblins came to the village. Yeah, it's right. All gang of moblins. But it's for real. They all went to the house. Yeah, that house. And then they did that. Something at Bow Wow's house. It was a really bad scene with the moblins. So, I mean, ah! Might be faster to find out for yourself what happened. Yeah, thanks, kids. Hey, buddy, it's here! It really sees! Yeah, I bet it is. There's a really bad scene with the b b b moblins so I mean, ah! Alright, fine. I'll leave you alone. So what happened? <laughs> Madam Meow Meow, that's your name? Oh, it's terrible! My mama was talking about b b moblins Oh, oh, please! Someone help my poor mama! Oh, Madam Meow Meow. So sorry about your dog. Now, Marin, aren't you gonna help? Stupid. Marin's taking a nap at home. I don't know how he can sleep on such a nice day. Maybe he's gonna sing a song. Yes, song is Battle of the Windfish. Wow. I mean, I guess it's nice to see her so calm, but. Honestly, it's kind of rude of you, not gonna lie. That's really rude. You just don't give a fuck about people's problems. Yo, Marin, you suck. Why is there any likers? She's such a bitch. She just wants to do nothing but sing. She's just a fucking diva. 
Will Terrence leave in the house? Maybe he can help me. Maybe. I mean, he did help me figure out how to get through the forest and such. Oh, right, I need a piranha plant and a Goomba for this room, I guess. Oh. Huh? <laughs> you don't know. Call old man your rain room. Okay. Well, at least I remind you to take the hint system you know what to do. I know what to do anyway! This music is just chaos of. Dude, you're asking where we started to live when we started to live on this island? What do you mean by when? Whoa! The concept makes my head hurt! Do you guys not have a concept for your for time? Like, for real? Time I was pretty sure was a pretty well understood concept, but I guess I was wrong. Is that a Goomba statue? Let me get that. Oh dear. I feel like this could be difficult. Hmm. I'll take a guess and see if I can get this to work. Please come back into its grip. Yes! Got you, son of a bitch! Ha ha! Well, I'm glad I came back. I got something useful. I think I got magic powder there, too. I recognize the bag. It almost fooled me for a second, but I finally recognized the design. I can tell exactly what you are. Also good to know, you also gotta let go of A or X a little early, because it also moves a tiny bit after you, uh, stop moving it yourself, because, you know, momentum. Yeah. Bro. Bro. I have enough money, I guess, but that's still annoying. God damn you. Yes, you got a Goomba figure! Try to resist the urge to jump on it. But, but, that's the only reason why I have it! Why else would I get this thing if I can't jump on it? Why else is the point of having this thing? Uh, stupid frickin' trying to tell me what to do. Well, you think you are. Well, I may as well- GET OUT OF MY HOUSE! May as well put this in since I got it. Why the hell not? Now the Goomba figure. I may as well put it on there. There we go. Got a Goomba. How nice and friendly it is. Alright, let's go to the forest and rescue that fucking uh, dog, I guess. I wonder how your other dogs are doing. Not that I care to find out. Don't worry. I'll show those moblins what for. What else am I good for around here? But yeah, the dungeons in those last two Zelda games. The second game did better as it did with the bosses. I will say, I am happy Gandorf came back to Tears of the Kingdom. Because I will say, I definitely like Gandorf being there a lot more than Calamity Ganon. Calamity Ganon is still probably the dumbest Zelda villain they have come up with. At least the others is like, oh, it's the Demon King. Oh, oh, or it's a reincarnation of the Demon King. Or the Steve I have to and having the powers of the Demon King, something like that. But no. Bread the Wild is literally just, oh, it's a fucking aura that is Ganon. What the fuck? Also happened to lead to basically the lamest boss fight in the entire Zelda series. I mean, all the boss fights in Breath of the Wild kinda suck. They were not fun. Like, ugh. I just Breath of the Wild is such a letdown after looking back on it, like. It's definitely great as a new experience, but overall it loses a lot of the Zelda charm. It really does. Kalto Heights! Alright, didn't they say the moments are here? I guess. Oh hi, Alessandro! The wind for should name only, for it is neither. Uh okay. I don't think I asked. Whatever. I guess that's how it is. Yeah, there's a lot of moments here. This is probably the place. Mount Tamarich and Kapunga Swamp. I mean, I can see the swamp right there. There's no mystery there that it's, there's something there. Seriously. There's a shining rock in there. Also, there's this. I found a hut. I wonder what's in here. What the hell? Huh? What you doing here so early? Here come it, dude. I'm still setting up. Oh. Okay. Sure, I'll leave you alone, Dompe. That was his name, right? Is that Dompe? Oh, wait. What is that about, anyway? So goes Tato Heights. Dompe's shack is nearby. I see. Well, Dompe has a shack here. I kind of forgot about that, but whatever. Anyway, this looks like the mob on hideout. I guess I'll go in. Sure. Let's get that dog back, or something like that. Here. 
Look at this special looking bird. Okay, boys, let's get rid of him. Yeah, you guys even stand a chance. Uh, I mean, that's the thing with Breath of the Wild Tears of the King. I'm like, sure, they have the world exploration down. And, you know, kind of having all the weapons from the beginning kind of gives you the freedom to do whatever you want, however you want, because of that. You must be a sadist that my man beyond me on the risk of the butt. You came here to get me, but it's I will get you. So you say, huh? Oh, God, get away from me. Right. Oh, right. Okay. Ah! Jeez. I think you'd actually be able to do that. Block the spear, I mean. I only hurt him once he runs to a wall and makes himself vulnerable. Your spears are useless against my shield. Oh. Wow, you didn't make it so easy, huh? I really thought you were just gonna run straight into the wall. Oh. Now it actually makes it difficult. Go for it. Ah, oh, you gotta run out of the way in time. I just gotta look at him for a couple times. Alright, that once he's really dead, he just stops in his tracks. Kill that fairy! Well, at least you're giving it to me. Thank you. Oh, yeah! Don't hurt me! You saved Bow Wow! What a fearsome beast! Well, I guess you're mine now. So look at that! We're together now! I rescued you. Now I get to take you for a walk. Cool. Well, I guess I may as well get you back to Madam Meow Meow. Cool! I got a chain chop pet! Let's go! This is awesome! I gotta finish my thoughts and tears of the King of Breath of the Wild. But yeah, I. Well, the exploration is great. Everything else got dumbed down. The combat has somehow become extremely basic. Then again, I'm probably the only person who likes Skyward Sword more than both those games. Because I really like the combat. There's actually a strategy to it. Can you leave me alone, you stalker owl? God damn it! What? That was a fearsome looking animal you have there. Who I forget? The next entry is in Kapunga Swamp. Right. I gotta think about doing that too. I should still let Madame Meow Meow see the dog. Because, you know. Oh, now you're out here? Okay. Hey, Vero. Get out here. Let's speak to of you. Maybe you can help me out with a little job. Job, eh? My job around this hour is to dig up interesting stuff. Have some time to spare. Come see me in my shack over there. Oh, okay. I guess I'll do that now or something. I may as well go see what Dope's about here. Because, well... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Do what you gotta do, man. I'd rather you be helpful or whatever. Well, you take care of your other business. It's the only way to do it, okay? Oh, what? You scared of my dog or something? I can finally see what he's about. Although, if I know this version of the game, I might know what that is, actually. Worry about it later. Well, either way, now I can jump around and stuff. With a dog with me! Oh, I can take the dog for a walk. Yeah, it's right! Oh, he can eat enemies? Sweet. This is awesome. But yeah, just... The dungeons were weak. The bosses were mostly weak. Although, Tears of the Kingdom, there's like... One of the main dungeon bosses, and then... Gandorf himself were actually pretty good fights. But, you know... They definitely did a lot better than the actual, like, boss and enemy variety in Tears of the Kingdom. Like, I actually felt like there was more of a reason to play some of that stuff. Damn! But, I don't know. The game still left me unimpressed. Because, again, it still is ba very, very basic. Huh? Woof! Dig rough! What do you mean, dig? Oh! You can feel seashells for me! Why, thank you! Huh! I forgot you could do that. Well, I don't think I'll get to keep you the whole game. It would be nice if I could, just for that alone. Oh, look! Oh, never mind. <laughs> Look! And you're dead. Sorry about that. I was with a toadstool. I might be able to return this to get free magic powder refill. I'll look at that and see. But I gotta go to Madame Meow Meow first. Gotta make sure I can let her know the dog is safe. That way. Well, I might be able to take you on a little adventure. I wanna get permission first, you know. I can't be a total dickhead. You just take your take the dog for a joyride. I'm not somebody who just kidnaps other people's dogs, like Moblins. Yeah, do I look like a Moblin to you? I don't think so. Get the hell out of here, Moblin! Yeah, I actually like Skyward Sword's combat a lot. It was actually like strategy the way you had to swing. 
there's actual like purpose to like how you swung your sword. In the other three zone games, it kind of matters if you swung like vertically or horizontally to get around like defenses and stuff. For Breath of the Wild Tears of the Kingdom, the combat honestly feels like an afterthought. Other than the dodge and parry mechanic, literally the way you swing your sword doesn't matter at all. At all. It literally is just there. And it frustrates me that it's so basic. Like, how do we go so far backwards in the gameplay? Like, what the hell? Not to mention the dungeons are exactly lackluster. And like I said, Breath of the Wild, you have monsters, you have basically the Divine Beast, you have to tilt to get into certain spots. Do a dance thing and happen home. I don't know how you can sleep on such a nice day. Maybe I'll sing a song. The same song I always fucking sing. Yeah, thanks. I was hoping freaking Valma would eat eat her, but well, never mind. Don't eat the fox. What did they do to you? I mean, I know it's a jerk to me. What did they do to you? Oh, thank you. I'm so happy you brought my baby back. Now, would you be here to take for a walk? It would really help me out a lot. You will. Thanks. Why are you kidding me? Now I have to. Now I don't want to do it. You're making me do it. Oh, you saved my dog! Thank you! As a reward, why you do some chores? You bitch! You're making me do it for- Ah! I should've just thrown that dog right back in her face. You could have given her a good makeover. Wow, dude. We have a strong bond, me and this dog! Can I just keep this thing? Oh, oh I still get item drops in that, too. You think you can mess with me? My dog's on a whole other level compared to you beasts. He will murder you. Yeah, I just feel the combat's too basic. Other than the dodge mechanic, which honestly is just there just to make it really easy for you to kill the really strong monsters. I won't say it's easy, but it's just very basic. The dodge thing was nice, they kind of added depth to that. The actual sword mechanics was blindly swinging. Not to mention the weapon durability is still annoying as fuck. But yeah, I'm sure people hear about that from everybody about that game. Wang's on the other side! Oh, right. There's another cave here, though. Do you mind not doing that to me? I do not want to get hurt by you things. How's it? Dig? Okay. I'll listen to you, dog. Thank you! Damn, this thing's really good to help me find these seashells. How many do I have right now, anyway? Ooh, I see a piece of art up there. That looks useful. Take that, asshole! I have five. I thought I had five. God damn it. Well, either way. Could you not? That actually hurts me. Oh, man! Can't get that because that chest is in the way. I forgot. You have to open it from the front. You can't open it from the side. Dick move. But it makes sense, I guess. There we go. 20 rupees. Joy. I guess I'll take it for what it's worth. I just really wish they kind of incorporate some of the old Zelda charm. Like... Large variety of enemies, and you know, have legitimate dungeons and things to get dungeons that can make exploring the world even easier. Which they kind of did that with the sage thing, but eh. Now the story is also extremely basic and bare bones. Like there's not a lot to get out of the story. All right, I know where to go, but I always just do this just to show you. If you need a hint, you can always keep going to Moraima. Ring, ring! Yes, there's a river! The indigestible flowers in Kapunga Swamp, the flowers are Bowser's favorite! Why don't you take them for a walk there? Quick! Alright, fine. Jeez. Such a rude asshole. I just... You know, the only thing, like, if they did that, I don't care if they go to that formula game. Honestly, I wouldn't mind if they tried to do that, but on a smaller scale. I swear, we didn't do the same world as Breath of the Wild for a third? Fucking time! I'm gonna lose it. That's the only thing that made Tears of the Kingdom annoying. They put it in the same fucking world as Breath of the Wild. Which made people think it was basically supposed to be meant as a DLC thing for freaking Breath of the Wild because of how similar it was. I mean, they changed enough that it was noticeably different. Then again, I only played the Breath of the Wild once. Which I gotta say, I still find it weird that people are able to play through that game multiple times how big it is. Like, yo. It's not that good when it's worth playing through multiple times, unless you're actually speedrunning the frickin' thing. I'd say it'd only be worth maybe two or three playthroughs. One getting everything, one trying to get it as little as possible. But, you know. And one is a generic playthrough, I guess you don't want to get everything your first time. It just bugs me, man. It just really bugs me that... 
you don't have to like my opinion, but... Again, if you like it, that's good for you. I'm glad you really enjoy it. I just, you know, I miss the traditional Zelda gameplay. Is it? It felt more rewarding, where I feel like some certain parts of Tears of the Kingdom Breath of the Wild aren't figured out very well. Oh, did it help that a lot of the shrines and Tears of the Kingdom were basically, oh, you solved a puzzle to unlock the shrine. Here's your free thing. And the shrines are kind of cool. It basically replaced the dungeon puzzles, because the dungeons are very lackluster, but, you know, at least they exist, I guess. I just wish there was more to them, that's all. Alright. Yeah, that's mostly all I have to say. Bottle Grotto. I see. We made two Grotto Bottos. Uh, okay, Grotto Bottos. Well, at least we made it to this village. Thank goodness. We made it to the dungeon, I mean. Also, as you can save over any file. So you can start one, but you can save over whatever file you want, which is. Good to know! As now I appreciate it. Alright, well, yep, that's all I have to say. Breath of the Wild, I just wish the maps be smaller. The dungeons are actually legitimate dungeons. Hopefully they evolve the combat to being more than just dodge and then beat the shit out of them. But just blindly button mashing. It's fucking great combat. Great combat. Grace Cave Ulti- Sorry, sorry. Didn't mean to get into rant mode, but yeah, I- I definitely prefer the older ones myself. They're at least made of 3D Zelda's, but I still like them. So, you know. I don't right hate the newest Zelda games, I just prefer the older style. If this is really what they're going to evolve into, I hope they can bring depth back to everything else and not make the world such a massive thing to explore, making it so fucking empty. You hungry, boy? Fine, go ahead and eat that thing. If it'll make you happy, it'll make me happy, too. Eat that fucking fish for me. And now you're ignoring it. Alright, sorry. Anyway, come back next time! We'll go through the Bottle Grotto here, our next dungeon. And, uh, yeah, I guess we're gonna get our next item and musical instrument as get through the next dungeon. Which would be fun, because I definitely want to get all these instruments as quickly as possible. I'm gonna create a one man, eight instrument music ensemble, if that's really what they want me to do. Which sounds like a ridiculous idea. Eh, roll of it. I'm sure it'll work out somehow. <laughs> 